fishing remote, hard to access rivers in Alaska has provided more adventure and fond memories than anything else I have done here. Not long after my father's 70th birthday, I came out with him and my good friend Robert Ethington to fish some of the wildest rivers in Alaska. We looked for and chose rivers where spawning but still fresh salmon were running in order to target rainbows and char that were feeding on roe. The prime rivers just happened to be in some of the most beautiful country I'd ever seen. If that caribou, if that moose hunt that I saw was... Much of the adventure lies in just getting to these places, since they are only accessible by specially equipped airplanes. So, hey, uh, Dad, what did you think of that uh, flight uh, we had? I loved that. I loved zooming down and seeing those bears run across the river. And to see that mama bear and those three cubs huddling together as we came right over the heads. And I loved all those caribou spread out across the plains. And then we saw the fish. Oh, then we saw all the big fish in the river. It was great. Big one. Yeah, you got him by the mouth. Yeah. Look at the size of that thing. Look at it going. He's going to drag now. You're not trying to catch these kings, but on occasion they'll hit your lure, and the fight is on. <laughs> Look at it go. Holy cow. My father fought this fish for 25 minutes and eventually I had to go out in the river and grab That's it by the tail. <laughs> he, he bulldogged him. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that fish. Boy, he took that hook, line, and sinker, huh? Jesus, so Come on, wrestle that dude, Dan. Can you imagine that thing look biting at those you? Look teeth on you. Look at that. Oh, careful. He'll, he'll hurt you, man. Let's see that dude. I have a oh, 20 minutes of fighting. That's what it was. Man, Boy, that's a nice one. I want to find the owner of that. Yeah. Put a color this on it. Tonight. Those are char, Arctic char. Uh, Dolly Vardens. A lot of people call them Dolly Vardens there. Like a brook trout. That's about all the wood in a mile radius. You're not in the lap of luxury on these trips, but who cares? There you are in this little stream here. We got a uh, bear bed here. Got a couple of salmon heads. That's fresh, man. It's like last night's. Look at the teeth on that guy. Jeez. Look at that hook beak. Yeah. I and mean, that thing is so hooked. My dad was extremely worried about bears on this trip. But as it turned out, the bears certainly didn't seem to be too worried about us. What an awesome trip this was. The memories with my father and my friend are priceless. We caught so many fish that it just completely wore us out. The only way to have a chance at topping the experience of fishing with your father in the extreme regions of Alaska is to have a similar experience with your own children. The Arctic grading like these fast waters. Perhaps their extra-large dorsal fin helps them to navigate the current. Within walking distance of Jeremy's place is some great fishing at the spectacular Tenalian Falls. Paul tries his hand at some fly fishing. 
catching fish becomes a side note when there are these kinds of views. Chris has another fish on because he can cast it out there. Just a short distance upstream from the falls at the outlet of Lake Contrashibuna, we get into some feisty juvenile lake trout. 25 pounder. It's pretty. Hey. Uh oh. Oh, lucky. <laughs> Good release. You're just chilling right there. Maybe he'll bite it again. That's a nice fish. We leave the beautiful falls and fly 180 miles toward one of Jeremy's secret fishing spots. We all had a morning of northern pike fishing that would far exceed our expectations. I did nothing but film as my boys and Jeremy engaged in all-out battle Chris got it. with at least 60 pike in less than two hours. Tighten your drag a little bit. Nice one. Did you hear that? Uh, it broke Javier's line, Chris. He had a steel leader on. They just back off. Spread all over you like you told me. That's a nice fish. Oh, it's pretty big. Oh my gosh. Big. Oh my gosh. I got one. Awesome. <laughs> Holy cow, it ran right toward me. Oh, it's a big one. Paul's, Paul's got a big one, one too. It's a big one. Come on, man! <laughs> Get it, Javier. Glad I got this steel eater. Yeah! Oh, nice one, Jeff. Jeff, I got one about that size right here. <laughs> oh, shit, there's a hole in the net! <laughs> Grab it again! Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> Look at, we got, we got these guys all caught up over here. I got him. Take it out, Paul. Oh, yeah! There you go, Jeff. Let's see, bud. <laughs> things are tough. We're gonna catch that fish, Jeremy? Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. You both got one? Oh my gosh. Let's go, I'm going over there now. I got the Boca grip. It's wet here. Is this bigger than that? Oh, don't lose that, Jeff. I'm not. I got one. Javier's got one. They're big over there, man. Just been fighting this for like five minutes. That's hot, man. I gotta pick up my car. Oh, that's a big one. I'm trying! Don't horse it, just take your time. Jeff, bring it this way a little. Get it that hook out of my... Did it's under it? the log. Don't, no, no, come on. Keep the tip up. You're all right. You'll bring him through. No, he's stuck. He's stuck. You're out there and grab it. He's out here. <laughs> okay. I see him, though. You got him. Oh, well, you gotta get off the log. You just push the log down so he can't get out of it. Right. Lift it up, Chris, with him. Lift it up with him. Lift it. There he goes. He goes. You guys did. You guys lifted the log right over him. That was awesome. <laughs> gotta land this fish, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why don't you get it? Get him, get him, get him, Paul, Paul. Yeah, the little Boca grip. Woo! Look at the size of that thing. Ugh. Hold that up. Yeah. Oh, it's way past 15 pounds. <laughs> oh, it just bottoms out my scale. Chris has got one. Get that in here, Chris. We got to get the four fish picture. Just bring him, horse it in. Okay, there we are. Four pike in one time, man. All these pike were released to fight another day.
These Northerns were truly on fire. This was the day of my son Jeff's awakening. The day he discovered that there was more to life than playing video games and listening to music. What a great morning this was with my boys. There was plenty of the day left for fishing though, and Jeremy and his guide Seth saw to it that we made the best of it. The kings had just begun to move up the main river channel. <laughs> Let's see, Chris, what you just catch. There's Jeff's. Hold it up there, big guy. Woo! Alaska! I can't stop it. Now pole. Jeremy is hooked up with a fish that I had never seen before. It's a she fish. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. She fish. It's a she fish. Wow, it's big, huh? Yeah, it's big. The she fish has a square mouth and the look of a small tarpon. Awesome. I guess Paul doesn't want this fish to get away. Maybe I just should have been easier on him when he was a kid. There is nothing quite like the remote areas of Alaska for fishing. I am so glad that I made the trip with my dad. He's getting along in years and I don't think he could do a trip like that again. What an adventure that was. The time spent with my boys in the wilds of Alaska will also be remembered forever. I look forward to coming back with them again.